Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English. And in this video, we are going to use uh, Appendix B, the family of T distributions, to calculate the probability of obtaining a sample mean by chance um, that um, is different from the population mean. And when we don't know the population standard deviation, so when we just have the sample standard deviation. In a different video, I use this data to show you how you would cal conduct, calculate a z-score um, using the sample mean of the sample standard deviation. Um, and now we're going to say, let's suppose you don't have this. You don't know the sample standard deviation. So we're just going to do, uh, in this case, a one sample t-test. You've got the population mean, say the population of men uh, owns 20 shirts on average. You've got a sample mean, randomly selected sample of men in New York State, and they own an average of 18 shirts. And the sample standard deviation and the sample size, which is 16. So this is just like the formula that we use for calculating a z-score, but now we're using the sample standard deviation rather than the population standard deviation. So first thing that we have to do, calculate a standard error of the mean. So in this example, our standard error of the mean is 0.75. Now that we have that, we can calculate a t-score to look at the difference between the sample mean and the population mean, and divide it by the standard error. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut, go back to um, before the car honking, car horn was going off. Okay, <clears throat> let's pick it up again. Three, two, one. Okay, so now that we've calculated our standard error of the mean of 0.75, we can now plug that into our t formula to calculate a t value. And we just take the sample mean minus the population mean and divide by the standard error. So 18 divided by 20, I mean minus 20 divided by 0.75. And we get negative two divided by 0.75 is negative 2.67. Okay, so our calculated t value is negative 2.67, and now we're going to have to use appendix B to figure out what's the probability of getting that t value by chance. In other words, what's the probability of randomly selecting a sample that has a mean of 18 when the population mean is 20 and the sample size is 16 and the standard deviation is 3? What's the probability of that occurring by chance? So, as always, it's helpful if you draw this out so you can get a, a graphic representation. So we're trying to figure out that. What's the proportion of sample means that would fall, that would be at 18 or below? And there's not really a precise way to do that in Appendix B. <clears throat> um, and um, in Appendix A, you can find the exact proportion of the normal distribution for every z-score. Uh, but in, it's a little bit rougher in Appendix B. So here's what you do. 
first, you got to figure out your degrees of freedom. And in this case, we have one sample. Our n is 16, so our degrees of freedom is n minus 1. equals 15. Now, in appendix B, we've looked for the 15 degrees of freedom line or row, and we are going to look until we find the two values closest to 2.67 on either side. So the, the line, um, the values were one t values below and one t values above in this row with 15 degrees of freedom. And I find that there's a value of 2.602. And the one that is to the other side of it is 2.947. Now in appendix B, there's only positive values, but the t distribution is symmetrical, just like the normal distribution. So you can just flip it around and turn the positive values negative. And our calculated t value is between these two t values from appendix B with 15 degrees of freedom. Now what we do is once we found those two t values in appendix B, it is in these two columns, and we are going to look, go up these two columns where it says alpha level for two-tailed test, and we see we've got 0.02 and 0.01. So this tells us that the probability of getting that t value by chance is between 0.02 and probability is between 0.02 and 0.01. And that's about as close as we can get. <clears throat> now, you'll notice this t value that we calculated of 2.67 is much closer to 2.602 than it is to 2.947. That means the pre-p value, uh, the probability of this event occurring by chance, is closer to 0.02 than it is to 0.01. So that's about as close as we can get. The probability of randomly selecting a sample of 16 people that has a mean of 18 when the population mean is 20 is between 1% and 2%, closer to 2% than 1%. That's how you use appendix B and T values um, to find the probability of obtaining a sample mean uh, by chance. I hope that's helpful.